Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We're here 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Almost everything is more complicated than it seems, but almost nothing is hopeless. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 252, NASDAQ off 85, S&P's down 29, gold contract up $8.20, trading at 1,062 an ounce. Silver, up seven cents at $14.08 an ounce. Platinum, up 15 at 8.46 an ounce. Copper, up two and a half pennies at 205 a pound. Light sweet crude, up $1.22 at $41.16. Bonds, the 10 year, down one full point, three ticks, 125.19. The 30 year, off three, almost four points at 152.12. We're gonna get uh, talking about those bonds, folks. Uh, this is the third time in about the last six months that they did come off highs with volume. That being said, it's still lighter volume than we went up, but so we're gonna be bisecting and dissecting them babies. King Dollar. I'm gonna get another name for King Dollar. Haven't figured it out yet. King Dollar is crushed. Bang! Whack it! See ya! Don't want to be ya, all of the above. Down 2,200 ticks. That's two and a half points. That's uh, two pennies and a quarter, actually. 97.77. What King Dollar did, monster volume on the way down, folks. Over 100,000 contracts. King Dollar's on its way, probably down to 95, 93. You break that 93 area, and guess what? You're going to 85. Euro. Euro up 333 ticks at 109.51 and the yen's at 122. What's the dollar and the yen and the euro all about? What it's all about, folks, is that Mario Draghi out here this morning, European Central Bank, came out. They did not increase monetary stimulus. That's what the market was looking for. Bottom line, it smoked the dollar, took the euro up, and in the matter of seven minutes, it took the DAX from up 1% to down 4%. Big numbers, big numbers. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay. Market, if we go all the way back to the 20th of August, market blows apart the 20th of August. We go from 208, three days later, you're down to 182 on, this, on the SPY. Monster volume, we have, we have a high volume low at 182.40. That wants to get tested, right? Bottom line, it sets up three black crows. You do a full test of the highs, which is just a total mind blower, no doubt, but that's what they like to do. We come up, the first test that was generated out here, folks, was on the 3rd of November. That had 95 million shares versus 194 million. Couldn't handle price. It comes off. November 3rd, and goes back down November 16th to 202. M market wants to go topside again, goes topside again, gets to a high yesterday. 108 million shares, the 108 million shares was going against the 131 million shares, failed on price, failed on volume. What happens today, and here's your confirmation, by the way, folks, 159 million shares. And just to put that in context, when I started the program at 3 o'clock, that was 101 million shares. So we did 58 million shares in an hour. The doors aren't big enough when they want to get out, folks. So what does that set up? Next stop is a swing point from November 16th. That is 202.18. Bottom line, we'll see how market wants to react tomorrow. I suspect we're going to go after that tomorrow. That's your spy. We go into the NDX 100. What do we have with the NDX 100? NDX 100, same type of setup. Come down high, fast. In August, we go back up and test it. First test gets established at 28 million. We test that high yesterday with 22 million. We come off that high today with 40 million. Bottom line, that the NDX 100 is gonna go after the 109.48. We'll see what kind of juice we have on the way down. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Now we're gonna get into the deviance of the marketplace, man. I love this part of it. Okay, gold today. Because down to a price point of 
1045. Rejects lower price. It has light of oil. When we came down on the 27th, we did 187,000 contracts. We hit a, high, a low of 1051. We got to a lower low today. We did light of volume. We'll see whether we get follow through tomorrow. I expect we're going to. Why? Because let's go over to King Dollar. King Dollar, folks, just toasted, roasted all of the above. And this thing came off. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this much volume in King Dollar, period. That when the doors, you know, go downtown, they're never big enough. We've done, a, we did 124,000 contracts. And, you know, King Dollar did what it was supposed to do. A to B equals C to D, all of the above. Um, on a short-term basis, this is saying King Dollar now wants to make a run down to 92.85. Now, what we did here, and this is the intense part, of course, is that in six hours, we just gave back one month of trading, over 22 days of trading. That's what markets like to do. Now let's take this on a continuous contract because the larger issue goes like this. When you can't bust them up, what are you gonna do? You're gonna bust them down. If we take a look at King Dollar, what you're gonna see is that we've been at the same place now for a year. Um, actually, no, March 31st, March of last year. Now the high was 100.38, we're at 97. What is that set up? That sets up. You're going to make the run down at 92.52. Now, if you break 92.52, whole different ball game. Because then 88 is wide open, and <laughs> well, I, I, I will stay at 88 at this particular point. But that's how this market is set up right here, right now. Bonds, 10 year. We look at the 10 year. What you have is this. We're in 2016 right now in all the future contracts, 10-year come down on 1.4 million contracts, and which is a mind blower, is that that was still less than we went up on on the 24th. Now, how do you handle the bond market? Okay, let's go over USH, I'm gonna go to the 30-year first, I wanna show you what we're gonna look at. 30-year came down on 374,000 contracts, which is monster contracts. Now, your swing point, is where markets talk, walk, and squawk. The 30 years, that's 150.03. We put this on a continuous contract also to get a clearer picture of like where it is right now. And this swing point is gonna be crucial to see, okay, does it take it out with volume or no, no volume? And we're right next to it. We're at 151.12, so we'll know soon enough. And if that does not take it out with volume, guess what? That would be saying that bonds still are going to go to higher price, which is just a mind blow, I know. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Dow down 252. NASDAQ off 85. S&P's off 30. Going to be right back.